What's going on everyone and welcome back to a brand new Fortnite Battle Royale video. In today's video I'm going to be showing you the locations of the new vending machines. This is some of the locations, not all of them are known at the moment. However, I do have a map which shows the locations and where you can actually find these. But be aware that they don't spawn in these locations every single game. They do rotate, sometimes they spawn there, sometimes they don't. It's a bit like the chests in the game. And I'm also going to be going over the patch notes which have came with version 3.4 of Battle Royale. But before we get into this video, make sure to let me know down in the comments section below if you like the vending machines in Battle Royale and have you tried out the new High Explosives version 2 game mode. Make sure to smash a like on this video to show support for Fortnite on the channel. And if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to be kept up to date with Fortnite Battle Royale content and see exclusive gameplay videos in the future. But now, let's get into the topic of this video. So first things first, starting this week, Fortnite is handling updates a little differently. New content will be released every other week without the need for an update as content updates. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you everything you need to know about this week's update. So vending machines have arrived in the game, sweets you want without the sugar rush, materials go in, loot comes out. If you have materials to spare, you can spend them at vending machines, which are now found in many locations across the island. Each vending machine offers three different deals, rarity and items chosen at random. However, each vending machine will have one set rarity on it, so if you find a legendary vending machine, all of the items that it produces will be legendary, and if you find a common one, they'll all be common. As well as this, High Explosives version 2 game mode has arrived. Things are really booming in version 2 of this explosive mode, remote explosives and guided missiles have been added for even more explosions. So like I said just before, the vending machines have been added to the game. They are found in various locations, but they are not in those locations every single game. They do rotate. Sometimes they'll be there, sometimes they won't be. And each vending machine, like I said, will randomly select a rarity, and all items sold will match that rarity. Items found in a common version will cost 100 materials. Items found in an uncommon version will cost 200 materials. Items found in a rare version will cost 300 materials. Items found in an epic version will cost 400 materials. And items found in a legendary version will cost 500 materials. Each vending machine will sell three items, one for each material, wood, stone and metal. It will cycle through each of the three items on a short timer, but to switch the items faster you can hit the vending machine with your pickaxe. There is no purchase limit to the items available, so if you have thousands of resources, you could end up with an inventory full of legendary RPGs if that's what you find at that vending machine. And as for the new limited time mode High Explosives version 2, the non-explosive weapons have been removed, friendly fire is off, and 1 minute 50 has been shaved off wait times for the first 4 storms. Supply drops spawn 50% more consumables and spawn 100% more materials, and you have a 50% chance of dropping a legendary guided missile. And those are the two main things with this patch. But now we're going to go onto the locations of the vending machines as that is what everyone wants to know at the moment. Players have been frantically searching across the map for their locations and here's a compilation of what everyone has seen so far thanks to images, videos and everything like that shared on social media platforms. The map is by no means a definitive guide to every location, but it gives you a pretty good idea of where these vending machines can spawn in a battle royale game. But like I've said multiple times in this video, you are not guaranteed to find a vending machine at every single one of these locations every time you go into a game. They do vary, sometimes they'll not spawn there, sometimes they will spawn there, I've had time periods where I've actually went into games and went around three or four of these points and found none, and then I went in the next game, went to the same three or four points, found one or two, and the others still haven't been there. So it really is just luck and chance that you will come across these vending machines within the game. So far I've found about two or three, and I must have played about ten games, so they are quite difficult to find unless you are really, really searching for them and not paying attention to really anything else in the game. I personally think the vending machines are quite a cool addition to the game, but at the same time, if you can end up with an inventory full of RPGs just because you have spare resources or go and collect the resources to purchase the RPGs, it's a little bit ridiculous in my opinion, but I understand that you're not going to have 5,000 wood, metal or stone within a game. You can get a thousand, but it's really quite difficult, I find, to actually get those high amounts of resources, unless that's all you do. You go in and farm the resources for yourself. 
As for the high explosives game mode, I do think it was quite cool when it was first in the game. They have made some significant improvements to it, so it does look like it's a lot more fun, and I can't wait to try it out. But like I said at the start of this video, make sure to let me know down in the comments section below what you think of the vending machines in the game. Make sure to smash a like on this video if you have enjoyed it, and if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to be kept up to date with Fortnite Battle Royale content and see exclusive gameplay videos in the future. But other than that, we'll see you in the next video.